Welcome back to the top-down RPG template tutorial series. In our last video, we learned about transmute recipes. Today, we'll be creating rune words. Let's get started. First, we need to create a data table for rune words using the structure provided in the documentation. Once we have created our data table, we'll replace the existing data table in the corresponding composite data table with ours. When creating a new row in the data table, we need to make sure that the row name is the combination of the individual rune names. I have already added the runes on the item's data table. and Socketable's data table with some bonuses. We will make sure that the row name is the combination of individual rune names. We'll also give the rune word a name and set the number of runes needed to receive the rune word bonuses. Next, we need to set the ID of the equipment. I have already added a sword to the related data tables and made sure that it has three sockets by default. Let's add some bonuses for the rune word. These bonuses replace the individual rune bonuses, so let's add them back in here. Next, we'll test what we have so far. Once we complete the rune word, we should see the name of the rune word and receive the bonuses we set. We can also change how the equipment looks like when the rune word is completed. To do that, we need to add the ID of the equipment and assign the images that will be shown on top of the equipment image. We'll need to create a blueprint for the equipment mesh. We can use the socketable effect base as the parent class to create the blueprint. We can override these functions to show and hide the effect. In this case, we will override the show event and attach a fire particle, as well as change the material of the weapon. The material should have variables that we can customize.
Finally, we'll set the effect blueprint on the data table and test it again. This time, we should see the customized image and the fire particle on the weapon. Thanks for watching.